Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our full Angular 9 tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about ng style. We will learn how to use ng style. We will learn all about it. We will learn how to write syntax. We'll do some hands on uh, practical examples. So let's get started. My name is Sridhar and I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer on modern technology stack, including Angular, React, Node, Express, MongoDB, and a lot more. I'm here to share my knowledge with you and also to learn from you all. So I'm putting this tutorial series for you. And if you have any doubts during the course of this tutorial series, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please support me by liking the video and also subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. So far in the tutorial series, we have covered around 13 uh, tutorials, right from starting basic introduction to modules, to decorators, to components, to directives. We have learned about ngif, switch, for, and in today's episode, we will learn about ng style. So what is ng style? So ng style is a directive which lets us set the style properties or CSS properties to the DOM elements. Now we can set these values directly uh, using a value or we, the best part about using ng style is we can pass dynamic values. And that is what makes ng style really powerful. The syntax for writing is we will write the ng style directive in the square brackets and then we will pass the CSS attributes or properties followed by the value. We can pass one or we can pass more than one values uh, to ng style. We'll see that now in hands on. Let's do some practical examples. Uh, the best way I would say that learning is uh, do some practicals along with me and try it out. If you have any doubts, let me know. I will be happy to help you. Let's get started with some practical. So open up the application. It's a simple application. Uh, let's make some notes first. So ng style is used for setting the style attributes of DOM elements, right? We can set uh, more than one or more properties. Remember common mistake that a lot of people do is they make mistake in the case sensitivity. So it is ng small s capital and remaining all small. So, so make sure that uh, you, you see that and make sure you don't make that mistake. All right. Now let's go to our component and let's learn how to use ng style. For that, I'm going to simply put an element first to show you how it looks and then we will keep continuing to grow it by adding the ng style. So let's put that div first. Learning Angular is fun, right? So this is a simple div, nothing fancy. In the output, you'll see learning Angular is fun. So we see the output. Now let's style this uh, div using ng style, right? So the way we define is we will have to add the attribute We'll add ng style and then remember this is the syntax very carefully. Curly braces followed by the property colon in the single quotes followed by the value. Right. So take a look at the syntax carefully. A lot of times a lot of people make mistake in it and you would see compilation errors. Ng style in square bracket with s capital. And then property CSS property name, that's your property CSS property, followed by the value of it. You can pass any value you want. Now let's see. So we see that uh, in the output, we see that the color is now red color. So far, so good. Let's make it little dynamic now. So I don't want to give the value. Instead, we'll pass it directly dynamically. So instead, I'm going to replace it with a variable and I'm going to call it color val. Now go to our app component and here we'll define the value. So here we are putting color value equal to blue, right? 
So now it will take the dynamic value here. So see now it is blue color, right? So this is how we'll, we can use ng style to pass dynamic values uh, to the DOM elements. Now a lot of times question is asked that can we pass more than one value? Yes, certainly we can pass more than one value and I'll show you now how to do that. So we will write comma, which means you're comma separating the attributes and you will again mention uh, the second property that you want to pass. Let's say we want to fix background hyphen color and then again followed by colon and pass the value. In this case, I'm saying gray color, right? So the first is the color value and the second is the background color, right? So now I'm applying more than one property to the ng style director. So this is how uh, we can achieve uh, passing more than one values through ng style. ng style is really cool, especially when you are passing dynamic values. Um, you don't want to you don't want to hard code the value. Instead, you want it dynamically. So we can always pass it and say, right? So now we are passing dynamic values to both color and background color, right? So when you go there output, you'll see that both are applied. So in the property, you can change anything you want. Uh, say, so I'm putting some other background color and we'll see that is applied, right? So this is how we will learn how to use uh, ng style. So this is how we apply to DOM elements. You can apply to more than one DOM element. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can apply to any DOM element you want, uh, need not be always be a div it can be a link right it can be a link it can be anything that you want um, so right so it can be a div it can be a link it can be a table whatever you want you can decorate your uh, uh, templates view uh, based on the css that you want to pass right so now it is a link this is a div so this is a common usage that we use ng style. All right, uh, so that was about ng style. Uh, now the common use case comes that you, when we have to pass more than uh, two or three elements or CS properties to DOM element, it will become really messy. The code becomes really messy. It's not really good uh, to use that. So we will use ng class to define a class, right? So that's what we are going to learn in the next episode. I hope you're following. I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, if you do, please give a thumbs up to the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you in the next episode where we will learn about ng class. All right. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.